continuing our journey around Old Brighton, spiral along with investigators of paranormal phenomena, travel underground to explore the Old Police Cells Museum. Housed in the basement of Brighton Town Hall, the Old Police Cells Museum offers a unique insight into the history of policing in Sussex and was the main police station from the first days of the force in 1830 to its closure in 1967. The museum itself was the brainchild of the late councillor John Drake with the opening on the 4th of May 2005. One of the station's most infamous events occurred in 1844 with the murder of Chief Constable Henry Solomon by a prisoner whilst on duty. Once again, Spiral and guest Gary Brown join investigators of paranormal phenomena to see if the museum's paranormal claims can be founded. Okay, we're in Brighton today. We're at the uh, Police Cells Museum, which is just uh, below the town hall. Uh, we've joined once again with investigators of paranormal phenomena, which we've done quite a few investigators with now. It's like a, a joint team, a bit like the Avengers, you know. Um, so we're about to start the investigation, see what's going on down there. Um, we've been joined today by Gary Brown at UKPM Radio, who we've known for many years, which we're really uh, proud about. So I hope you enjoy us for the night, see what happens, who knows, nothing might happen at all, it might all kick off, who knows, but we'll see. But I will be casting my sceptical eye, along with Gary, uh, over the night's proceedings. Uh, we're here at uh, the Old Police Cells Museum in Brighton. Uh, we're joined with Gary Brown from UKPM Radio. Uh, looking forward to it, it's going to be a good night. Uh, it's very interesting so far, it's a lovely place. Yeah, we're going to be about a spiral member for the night. Yeah. Well, I've been promising that I'd come along to an event with the spiral guys for about two years now, so I think it's about time that I turned up. So, uh, surprised Mark and the guys tonight. I'm really looking forward to it, it's going to be a great night. We start familiarising ourselves with the location with Alison drawn to the end cell. Oh, down this end I felt sick as well. well Sorry, that, like, back although that wall's range. quite thick, that's, I've, I'm getting that they were brought in through that way, but there's a wall yeah. that's so thick there, I can't see how they can be. But that's, that's what I'm getting. Could have been in but blast in here, time, I'm getting somebody, I'm, I'm getting two things. I'm getting somebody being slashed, mm. and I'm also seeing somebody being slashed, and there's this blood, and I really, really physically feel sick. Yeah, well, when I walked down here earlier, I felt sick towards the end here, so I walked back up again. Very interesting so far at the police cells in Brighton. Um, what is interesting, I thought it was just one corridor with various cells placed off the main high street, the high highway. But actually there are about 300, uh, three different big areas. And also there's actually a room which is an office for parapsychology, which is a bit strange, which we weren't expecting that. So uh, yeah, it's very interesting so far. Fantastic place, just, uh, just below the main hall. Very interesting. Shortly after, I take Mandy also into the end cell. Oh, that was a really nasty, something really nasty. Every other one I've been in, all you can pick up is sort of a little bit of troublemaker, a little bit leery, maybe a little bit drunk or whatever. In here is a really nasty, nasty feeling. Like, oh, it's so different. As soon as you walk in and turn your back on the door. Does anyone know anything about in here? No? To tell you. They put somebody in here on their own who was like a really, really nasty, like murder. Nasty, but really brutal. Yeah, it's, no, it just feels sick. It's sort of weird, it sort of sits here and it's just <coughs> feels a bit disgusting, a bit lightheaded. Yeah. And, yeah, not when much. I went down there, even I felt like that. When I come down and getting some shots, and um, obviously I'm the last person who ever says anything like that. But yeah. I did fall over heavy head, not in anything else, just in that bottom cell. Yeah, no, because obviously we've been looking in the other cells and stuff, and yeah, this hasn't been a problem. But yeah, it's that one it doesn't it doesn't feel nice. 
Mandy, Kerry, Daniel and I head around the corner to the women's cells. This one feels really... Oh, the, other, the other cells, some of them feel different. They all feel different. I feel like in here, and this probably isn't going to be what the other people picked up because this is just what I'm feeling, but it was as if there was a woman in here with an, or a person in here with somebody they didn't want to be in here with and they felt really like they had to be like this because the other person really wasn't very nice. I don't know, it just feels like a room. It, like, yeah, if you go yeah. next door it just feels like a room, you're like, oh it's a room. The air in here but in here it's thick. like, yeah. it's tight. Mm. What I'm trying to do here is actually get different readings from different places, keeping people sort of separate and then correlating to see if people come out generally the same thing. Uh, the cell in the men's uh, one, we did, Alison was there a good 20 minutes before Mandy went in there. Uh, we've gone to the lower levels, we've set a laptop up with a black light on a webcam and got an infrared static cam set up as well. And it's got audio city running so we can catch up any of these EVPs or anything running in there. So we'll see what happens. So we've been walking around, uh, people with um, claims of psychic ability, I don't mean that in a rude way, um, have been going into different cells, just seeing what they pick up on. Mandy, Allison, Daniel, uh, and a couple of other people from the uh, Investigate the Paranormal Phenomena. And we're trying to correlate and see what people come out with, keeping them apart. It's been quite interesting so far. Putting psychic people with uh, psychic claims is my sort of main focus. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm very interested in what, how where that comes from. So um, soon we'll be turning off the lights, um, we'll go to a few vigils, mm -hmm. you set the experiment down in the other one, so uh, we'll just see what happens, you know, can't promise anything, probably nothing will happen. Mm -hmm. Looking at it from a, a kind of sceptic's point of view, um, the, the medium has stood in a police cell and said that she's picked up on, on the feelings of, of somebody mm -hmm. that was maybe in prison, which you could quite easily put yourself in the mindset imagine the cell as it was back in the day and you go into that mindset of what it must be like is it psychic ability or is or are you just mm. with your mind's eye putting yourself in the place of a prisoner so we'll have to wait and see what happens mm. if she picks up on any interesting information but uh, so far it looks like a good place we're all boys speak like that don't you we're in the um police cells with the men's part that the uh, sprinkler system. 27 degrees. What about, what about emergency exercise? Sometimes they give out a reading. No? Oh, all right, so now. 0.4. Head high, yeah. Okay, so EMF isn't really an issue. Have we got it here, uh, Gal? Right. 0.4. 0.4, okay. All right. Try this, uh, this wiring down, down on the floor here. Yeah, to point if you've got another, another emergency light up there. Point four. Let's go down this way. Point five. I reckon it should be constant. This, this junction. Yeah, point seven. Point six. So it could feasibly be that. We might be starting to this. Possibly, yeah. Are you going there? Again, I'm really sort of zooming. And Daniel. Yeah. Would they have brought women here, you know, protesting for the right to vote? I have no idea. This could explain yeah. your lady that Bear in mind this was this was built around you know, this was built early nineteenth century and it worked I think it was working until the latter part I think about nineteen seventy. So, so it would have when the suffragette movement was sort of you know, early twentieth century. Mm. Around the That would explain the Great your well to do lady who didn't think she should be here when all she was doing was speaking out for her right and maybe got a bit carried away and dragged along with all the rabble. Okay, we'll try and look into that. There should be it is not interesting, yeah, because that's like I said, when we come in here again, it's just that image straight away again. It's quite sad, isn't it? And it's like, it's just, I don't know, I could just see like images of her, and she's like, she's well dressed and turned out, and it would be sort of early 20th century, sort of in that, I don't know, 19. It's hard for me to place the time period, but it would be early 20th century. And I could see her going about her domestic chores, which means sort of. She's just a normal person, if you know what I mean. It's just stupid, because I've got two children. And there shouldn't be children here. Why not? No, but they're saying they live here. They think they, that they they, might. it's as if their dad worked here. It's a possibility, like yeah, that. because obviously a lot of people, used to, the wardens, whatever, or whoever patrolled here, might have actually lived in places of residence. Lived on house, lived on the site, yeah. That's the impression that... But saying that, Alison got kids as well. Did she? Yeah, we don't know.
Moving on, we decide to head below to the bottom levels. Mandy seemed to be getting further information about the already known murder here. Murdering went on over there. You were you saw that the, you knew that anyway. I knew about that. I'd read that on the website, so that's cool. I read it on the um over here somewhere. I think. This well I think it was here, like where you're standing, I'm sorry. Um, the chief of police got murdered here, apparently. But I don't think he died here. Okay, right. I think he died somewhere else. Do you know anything else about the murder or you just know he'd been murdered? I just know that he'd been murdered. Can you why is the chief of police sitting in, this was his office, and I know that because I read that on the website, but okay. why, or did I? I don't know now, I'm confused about what I've already read and what's coming now, but this was his office, and he was bashed about the head, but by somebody that he'd arrested. So why was the person he'd arrested not up there? Okay. And why were they down here on their own? Did they escape? No, they were chatting. They were all talking. Oh, right. And then it's as if the person just flipped and bashed the shit out of this man. Sorry, bashed the crap out of the back of this man's head. Yeah. Well, I'm but sure he didn't can... die here. He that did not die here. He died somewhere. Happy. I think it's quite a not sort of here. well known story in, the, in this area. So I think what we can do is actually sort of see if we can research that and try and get a little yeah. bit more information. The good thing is okay, if you don't know that, you only know he'd been murdered, but how he's murdered. He could have been murdered lots of different ways. He could have been strangled, he could have been shot. Definitely, you know. it's like with something. Do you know what it was he got hit with? Or no. Any idea, no. It's like this guy was quite okay one minute, and he'd been arrested, not for even anything particularly major. And then suddenly he just went <laughs> flipped and did what he did. But then, yeah, he definitely... I don't know whether this is right, but he really wants everyone to know that this isn't where he died. Okay. He went home. Well, if that's the case, we hear you and we know. Well, unfortunately, I mean, I, I said all this before anyway, but Kerry says it's written down somewhere. Yeah, it's on the wall. Oh, is it? But I said it before yeah, you got here. But Mandy hadn't seen it, okay, not all of it. Not not literally to the side of that. It says what and how he was killed. Does it say how he was yeah. killed on there as well? So yeah. that sort of negates everything I've just said. But yeah. I swear to God, I've read on the internet that the chief of police was murdered here, and that's all I know. I think it's worth noting that um, obviously people who are watching this on, uh, on our channel. I'm trying to chop that bit because um, I'm going to get called a liar. I'm not going to I know Mandy very well, and everyone knows what a sceptic I am, and I will, you know, but I do trust her, and she's got nothing to prove. So if we do find out that is what happened. All no, I'll vouch for her because I was with yeah. her. Yeah, yeah, you were, weren't you? Yeah. I vouched because I came down here with her. She didn't read it. I read it. She walked right over there. On the wall, we found the information about the murder of Henry Solomon. He was immediately taken home. In poker. That's so cool. Poker by the fireplace. Oh you said it'd been bashed. Yeah. I didn't know. That. I didn't know it was there. I didn't know it was there. I no. went past it. So we did get. <laughs> He was taken home, he said he, you said he was stressed, he didn't want to know that he died here, mm -hmm. but he was taken home, and it was a sudden lunge and sudden attack for a minor crime that this guy had, which was the carpet. We head further deeper into the building cellars. So here's the, lap here's the uh, laptop with the locked off cam, which is here. We thought this was actually quite a small place, it actually goes on for ages. Do you think this was actually like when we this like the same as the smugglers caves? Is this part of old Brighton underneath here, would you think? No. Personally I don't no. think so. Yeah, I know it's non specific, but it just generally like one bloke just and it was so much despair it just made you want to cry. And then as someone else as well, uh, again there's not so much facts, it's hard to investigate afterwards, but as someone just barely able to stand up, it's different to the, the, uh, the other male that I was getting with the spare. This other male, it literally, you, you, you felt overcome like, like you were, maybe you wanted to jolt in the stomach and just like you wanted to topple over, just sort of like you're, lo you're losing your feet in. And I feel like literally trying to grab walls to try and stay up. In anything down in the cellar, I think makes you fetch you differently because yeah. you're down. Yeah, I have to agree with that, yeah. It, you think, like, even demons or devils and it's down below. Yeah. So can you go to that level 
makes you think it could be like you know negative energy mm. anyway. And also, you could well be getting what you're saying, yeah. uh, but it might be slightly enhanced. This is just a theory. It might be yeah, slightly yeah. enhanced by our, your perception of we are underground. You know. I was having a question. Say, if a spirit is here and feelings were felt in a certain place, could they be? Could they have the feeling travel around the area? Because if Gary wants to explain. Well, when we um, when we came down here earlier. Um, I walked into this room and it's kind of an uneasy feeling but there is a temperature change, it's not as warm down here. But I walked over around where the desk was and straight away I, was, I sort of doubled up. But I do, I do have a lot of stomach problems anyway but it was like a cramp, bent me up double. And uh, you guys have come down here and picked up straight away on uh, someone bent up double in pain, mm. which, is, which is quite impressive. And, and Darren was saying because uh, Stuart was saying because you got it in there and I got it out here. Yes, the theory is that if there is a spirit in this location, it can try and impress those feelings on you. Who's to say he's trapped in there? He might have the run of the whole place. Well, that is the thing, isn't it? I mean, whether you're thinking about whether the the room itself is like got the energy, mm -hmm. and or whether it's just attract to you, like, so you might, I might get it in there, you might get it in here, and you might even get it in the next room, you, you never know. That's a good point. Is it, is it residual? What becomes first, chicken or the egg? Exactly, is it residual to the room, yeah. or is it an energy of a spirit? Our time here has been very enjoyable, and the old police cells museum is a fascinating place to visit whether spirits are in residence or not. <laughs>